everybody. My name is uh, Brian Gridadoria. Uh, I'm here today to introduce a new feature that we've recently added to the PX12 450R. It's a new virtualization capability uh, called iOmega Virtualization Technology, IVX for short. Uh, what we're going to do today is demo some of that feature and capability, but what it is is it's a capability that allows you to virtualize any operating system or any application to run embedded within the storage array itself. It's very uh, unique to our storage product and it should be a game changer in the market today. What I'm going to do is hand this off to Shyam Serene and he'll give a dem demonstration of how the capability works. Hi, my name is Shyam Serene and I am the team lead for this IVX feature which Brian explained just now and I am going to give the demo of this feature on the running on the PX12 400R device. So this is the main user interface of the device and here we have added a new icon about IVX and this if you click the feature with this icon will allow you to access the feature IVX. This shows all the virtual machine which we have installed. So what we can do is that we can add the also if you have a new virtual machine we can add this these are the steps to add the virtual machine and we can add the virtual machine like virtual machine 8 and this let's say this virtual machine is the uh, virtual machine store center and then we can how it can be accessed remotely we can assign the VNC port number here or we, it will automatically assign the virtual machine and we can also select whether we want to start this virtual machine automatically during the next boot up of the device or not and this actually we can select the number of CPUs here and number of CPUs after that we can need to give the RAM how much RAM is there and we can put the RAM here and then we can do the next step and we can add the storage where we want to store, uh, store this virtual machine on through the PX12 hard drive. This will allow you to the file name of the virtual, uh, whatever file name we want to store which is HD01 and what will be the storage required for that. The storage required for that let's say it is we are 200 GB and we can give the location of that wherever we want to store this virtual machine let's say under KVM and we can apply this one and then ne next step is that we can select the networking mode whether we want a bridge networking or whether we want a NAT we support by default na bridge networking and after bridge networking it will automatically assign the IP address to this and then we can choose what kind of operating system or virtual appliance we want to install on so this shows how to our window now we have set up a windows 32 operating system and this we can run this command here this will allow you to this shows that the, we can play the virtual machine all these other virtual machine are stopped here so if you want to access me this virtual machine you can just need to select this one this vnc it will open the vnc player and this we have on vnc player we are running the on this windows server we are running the access camera station software that access camera software will be showing the live view of the show so in other words we are showing that any windows application running on to on the windows virtual machine and this virtual machine is running on the px12 hardware